Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P, and welcome back to episode lucky number 13 of Room Tour Project, the series where I show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. The special guest for this episode is going to be Adam from Mr. Tybox123. He's going to be showing off his gaming setup, and you've probably seen it before because it is one of the most popular and most viewed setups on YouTube. So I'm really pumped to have him on the episode for you guys. Hope you like it. Got some really cool and unique setups. So let's kick off episode 13. Kicking it off with a triple monitor display setup with a really cool Chernobyl theme. And this submission is from a 17 year old Swedish, uh, an actual case modder. As you can see, it looks really nice and professionally done on the inside to go along with his Chernobyl theme. On the inside, he's got an AMD FX 8320. He's running two R9 270X VaporX cards and uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. But I'm really liking the way it looks, um, especially with the three monitors and different orientations to go along with his setup. I think it looks really nice. Great way to kick it off. And now to a very simplistic setup, but there's actually a lot going on here and definitely a big audio file. But that monitor is a Dell U3415. Uh, the keyboard there, as you saw, is a CM Storm Quickfire TK keyboard. And definitely, like I mentioned, an audio file with those crazy speakers and those headphones, six of them to be exact. And uh, just naming them, looking at them, they're the AKG K7XXs, the Sennheiser HD600s, the Hi-Fi Man HE560, Audio-Technica AD700s, uh, Sennheiser HD650s, and the Bear Dynamic T70P. And looking inside his PC case, it's really nice as well. Very neatly organized, but I wanted to give him props for having that huge collection of audiophile headphones. Now this one, um, if you know me and my channel, you know I'm a sucker for these entertainment setups. I love setups that have the triple monitor displays and like a big TV or whatever so you can you know console game and PC game. Really great setup here. I really like it. These are actually a lot from his Instagram. Um, so shout out to that if you want to check it out. It's got a lot of cool photos. Uh, those monitors are the Dell S2340M monitors. Great for gaming. You see him doing Pokemon there. But just like I said, I love these overall entertainment setups. And surprise, surprise, yes, another entertainment setup that I really liked. Um, this one was like a little fisheye overall view of the little office or the little gaming den, as I like to call it. Um, crazy expensive Sennheiser headphones right there with the Corsair Gaming K70 keyboard. And this is a buck kicker. This goes on the bottom of your chair, and it turns pretty much bass into vibrations. So when you're sitting down, um, it'll like send pulses into your chair, which is great for like gaming for when like explosions go off, makes you you know more immersed. But as you saw the entertainment set up there, he can console game when he wants or PC games. And that's the stuff I really really like the most, and that is just a lot a lot of terabytes of storage there. But um, I do like this setup. It's really nice and very cozy. What's up guys, how are you all? My name's Adam, AKA Mr. Tybox123, and I run a tech channel right here on YouTube, doing unboxings, reviews, all the usual kind of tech greatness, and most of all, I really, really enjoy setups. Now, I put a great deal of effort into my own setup, hopefully you guys will see that in the video coming very, very shortly, and a big, big thank you to Frank for having me here on his channel, and especially involved in his setup tour series. Anyway guys, if you wanna see any more of my videos I'm sure Frank's gonna leave all of the details below but for now enjoy my setup now to start off with here you can see this is my main focus of the room this is a custom built desk now this particular one I designed and had made myself and the actual monitors on the desk itself are 27 inch monitors the bottom three are three 27 inch Apple cinema displays. So they've got a high resolution of 1440p. And then the top displays are three Dell displays. Now on top of the desk itself, this is my interface options and I usually go with this particular setup. So on the left hand side, I have the magic trackpad from Apple. In the middle, I've got the solar power keyboard from Logitech, the K750. And then on the right hand side, I have the Just Mobile Blue Pad for a mouse mat. And then I also use the Magic Mouse. And I'm currently trying out the Cyborg Rat9 as well. Now in the middle, you can see that I've also got some more options in here. On the right hand side, we have my volume and turn off and on power control for my Bose Companion 5 speakers. In the middle, we've got a zoom microphone, a compact flashcard reader underneath, and then a docking station for my iPhone or iPod on the left hand side. 
Now over on the left hand side we've got the 2013 iPad Air. This is the 128 gigabyte white version. And in addition to that, just behind it, we've got my little Android dolly there sitting just behind. And then again in the corner, you can see the Bose Companion 5 speaker. Now I've got these little trays here that I use and the idea is is that you can actually pull out charging cables and various other bits and pieces and just leave them hanging out of the desk like that without having to have the drawer fully open and have all of the contents exposed to you. Now just to show you the effect of the actual lighting itself, it's not the easiest thing to capture on camera but the screens themselves look overexposed for me to be able to actually capture the light. But you can see it works extremely well, lights up a whole bunch of the room and mine just run all the way around the back of the monitors in an LED strip. Now next up here we have my little Power Mac G5 table. I made this myself, you just buy some empty cases for some Power Macs, put a bit of glass on top with some rubber mounts and you get yourself a nice little Power Mac G5 coffee table. On top of there as well we had the latest MacBook Air and also the latest iPad mini with retina display along with my Xbox controllers. Now over on the other side of the room, you can see here I've got a whole bunch of stuff. First up, this big white cabinet that I've got here. This came from a office supplies company and it's very, very heavy, extremely well made and extremely solid. Now inside the cupboard, as you can see, there is a whole bunch of junk. There is some headphones, things that I'm reviewing, boxes for phones, old docking stations, there really is a whole bunch of stuff in there. You can also see all of my cleaning equipment in there as well. Now here we've got what I call my 4K Hackintosh workstation. That is a Psyche 4K 39 inch screen that I use as a monitor. Below that I've got a soundbar from a Spanish company and then the Nexus 10, the famous Nexus 10 that needs badly to be replaced by Google and hopefully will very very soon just below it. I've got the Apple wireless keyboard and mouse and then the remote controls for the other various bits of kit as well. Now this actual desk is a desk again that you can pick up from Amazon I'll leave a link to it down in the video description and all I did here was actually cut part of a old blind hang that on the front and then it gives me a bunch of storage behind it. Now behind there I've got the base bin for the soundbar, I've got the Xbox One and a whole bunch of other stuff as well just to keep it kind of hidden away and nice and tidy. Now to the left of my 4K Hackintosh workstation, you can see I've got an absolute beast of a Hackintosh. Now this particular one is a Core i7 running with both Windows 8.1 and also uh, Mac OS X as well as part of a Hackintosh. It's got dual 7970s, Core i7 4770 running at about 3.6 gigahertz, fully water cooled, 64 gigs of RAM and a couple of SSD drives as well as some extra storage on SATA. Now my Mac Pro here, this is a 10 core 64 gig Mac Pro with dual D700 6 gigabyte of RAM graphics cards and I actually had the base made with the LEDs by the same people that made my desk and it just kind of sets it off rather than it being all sort of hidden away under the desk there. Anyway guys, that is it. This is a view from another angle of the room. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this setup video. All right, everybody, it's gonna do it for episode 13 of Room Tour Project. Again, big thank you to Adam from Mr. Tybox123 for showing off your setup. It is definitely one of the coolest and most unique bunch of stuff going on. I love it, so I hope my fans really enjoyed it as well as yours. So again, just thank you for being on the episode. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up to show your support, it means a lot to me. And if there's anybody you want to see on Room Tour Project, you know, any of the big YouTubers, uh, talk to them on Twitter. Try to get them on here. Tell me you want to see them on Random Frank P's Room Tour Project. But while you're at it, you can follow me on Twitter, at Random Frank P. I'm always on there, so if you want, you can follow me. And lastly, guys, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos in the past, like a bunch of reviews. If you like gaming setups, I got this whole series for you. And I've been revamping my gaming setup in the background as well. So I got a bunch of cool series on gaming setups. If you haven't, hit subscribe. I'll do my best for you. Everybody, hope you enjoyed episode 13. Like I said, I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.